Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today we're gonna be doing a haul video and I have my big basket of goodies right here. It is um, like packed with new products, um, drugstore and high-end um, that I have to talk about. Um, I have collected these products in the past few days and I decided to sit down and do a haul video for you guys. So let's just get right on into it. All right, so I'm just gonna start with high-end products just to get them out of the way. The first product I have right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I'm so excited about this palette right here and I know this came out like last year. Um, so it's not like brand brand new, but uh, it's new to me and it's still a fairly new product on the market um, So this is what the palette looks like right here. It is super gorgeous um, Very unique shades in this palette. It's not your everyday um, You know warm palette that you um, are always using um, You guys know I'm a huge fan of the modern renaissance palette. I use that palette literally like almost every single day It's one of my true true favorites. So I was really excited to give this a go and I've heard so much like um, Mixed reviews on it. You know a lot of people love it a lot of people don't so I really wanted to get it and try it out for myself And really create a lot of cool interesting looks with it. So I'm really excited about this new palette So the next product I got from Sephora is also by Anastasia and this is the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlighter now This is brand new and everyone's been talking about it Everyone's been raving about it and for good reason because let's just take a moment to admire how beautiful this highlighter looks it is so gorgeous and i'm so excited to start playing around with it just the packaging alone um is so beautiful and i've heard really really great things about the formula so i'm really excited to start playing around with this um i think it's gorgeous and i just can't wait all right so the next few things that i got from sephora are like um deluxe sample type products since um i did pick some up because i had some points lying around so the first thing is the becca um Shimmering skin perfector in the shade opal. So this is just a deluxe sample of the highlighter And I'm really actually happy with the size of this. I never go through a full highlighter. I never will I have way too many and um, It's very rare for me to actually use a highlighter like on an everyday basis I like to switch them out. So this is the perfect size and I'm really excited to start playing around with that and then I also got the Clinique uh, Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Linen. And this is a deluxe sample as well, which is actually a really nice size. Great for traveling. Um, just great for me trying it out um, instead of getting the full size. And I am wearing it today and I actually really like it so far. Um, I think the formula is really nice. It gave me really nice coverage, but of course I'll keep playing around with it. All right, so that's all the high-end items I got. And uh, now let's move on to all the drugstore products because there's a lot in this bin and there's a lot to talk about. So let's just get right on into it. I'll start with e.l.f. Um, so I got the e.l.f. Uh, Beautifully Bare 3-in-1 Makeup Base. And this is what this looks like right here. It is a primer. And this says it's going to create a flawless natural look. And it's a lightweight makeup base. Um, it says it's infused with uh, vitamin C and E. Um, and it's supposed to brighten and make your makeup last longer, which sounds amazing. This primer really intrigued me and I'm really excited to try it out. I've been on the hunt for like super good primer, so fingers crossed for this one. Next from e.l.f. I got this and this is the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette, but this is the Summer Breeze one. If you guys know me, you know I've been a fan of the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palettes for a while. The original one I use like non-stop. It's one of my top like favorite palettes. And then I recently reviewed the Smoky palette, but this one right here, the Summer Breeze one, I was not able to find for the longest time. I think this came out like two years ago, but it just released into the drugstores near me. So it's been a while, but I'm so excited to try this out. I did use a few of these transition shades in my crease today and they blended out beautifully as I was expecting but I'm really excited to use this palette to create more spring looks and summer looks as we're kind of getting into the warmer weather here so I think this is a gorgeous palette and um, the shades are really really nice and blendable so I'm very excited about that. We do have a new foundation at the drugstore and that is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage um, Foundation and I got mine in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. This is what this looks like right here. First of all, I actually really like the packaging of this. I like how it's like super clean and everything like that. It is a nice glass bottle and it is a pump which is always nice. I'm always 
um, up for pumps for foundations and this I have super high hopes for I've seen a lot of people review it and it looks so beautiful on the skin so I can't wait to try it out for myself and I think I want to do like a wear test for this because it does claim to hold up to 24 hours but we'll have to see I do kind of want to do a wear test for this and see how long it can actually hold up but I love seeing new foundations at the drugstore uh, foundations are one of my favorite things to try out because they really set the base for your whole makeup look and um, yeah I'm very excited about this and have high hopes another foundation release would be from essence and this is the fresh and fit awake makeup healthy glow um, with vitamin complex and cranberry water foundation and this is in the shade 10 uh, fresh ivory now I was very disappointed to see that essence only released four shades of foundations and that's something we need to fix um, foundations should not be limited to a few shades there should be a lot more shades because um, there are so many skin tones out there so I'm very disappointed in the shade range of this there should be like way way more than four shades um, that's not even like acceptable so hopefully um, makeup brands start coming out with more shades hopefully this sends a message to all the brands that need to expand their shade ranges um, but I did go with shade 10 and hopefully this is a good match for me but um, I'm very excited for this foundation. It does come in a glass bottle, which is really nice since it was like five bucks. It has a pump too, so really impressed by the packaging. Um, and um, the name kind of intrigued me as well since it's a more lightweight natural foundation that's gonna be perfect for the spring and summer. So uh, very excited to give that a go. Next from Essence, we have these uh, strobing highlighter sticks and they did release three shades and I did pick up all three since I do wanna try them out. The first one is the Prismatic hollow lighter uh, stick and this is what this looks like right here let's just swatch it real quick okay that's so cool it's definitely like not a holographic highlighter but it is called like their prismatic highlighter so i guess i can see that because it does have like that sh uh, shift in shade it has that purple tone to it so really interesting that essence came out with something like this because you don't see a lot of drugstore brands come out with colors like this and then the other two they released um, are their strobing highlighter sticks. This one is in the shade Glow Up Your Life and it's a nice like ivory champagne um, color right there. And the second one is more of a pinky shade and this is Light Up Your Life. So this one looks super beautiful as well. That's it right there. These look really promising, really glowy, and I can't wait to actually try them out on my skin. Now next from Essence, um, they released these Metal Shock eyeshadows. I did pick up all seven shades right here, and I'm so excited about these right here because, um, as you guys know, the like Stila liquid eyeshadows have been really trendy now. Any liquid eyeshadows um, a lot of brands have been coming out with, and to see them at the drugstore is so exciting, and these actually look super promising. Let's just swatch one. This is in the shade uh, Solar Explosion. Let's just see here. Okay, Essence. Okay, I see you. I see you. This is so pretty. Look at that, guys. That's so pigmented. I'm so excited to use these. So as I said, this is Solar Explosion. It's like a gold shade. Um, this one right here is Supernova. It's like a green duochrome. This one is Total Eclipse. It has like a purple shift to it. This one I'm really excited about. This is One Second to Mars and this has like a gold reflex in it, but it's like a pink base that looks so gorgeous. Um, then we have the silver one. It's Moon Dust. And then uh, Stars and Stories is like a um, rose gold. And then this one right here is like a chrome and this is Galaxy Rocks. So very excited about these new Essence uh, liquid eyeshadows. And I do want to do like a full video of these, watching them, everything, trying them out because I have really high hopes and they look super interesting. The last thing from Essence that I got is their Shine 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 uh, Wet Look Lip Gloss. And this one is in the shade Happiness in a Bottle. It's just a nice like pinky toned lip gloss. And I'm very excited about this because I used to love Essence's um, XXXX. L shine lip glosses that they had in the past and they just released this new line so I do have high hopes for this because they usually do make really good lip products so this is a really pretty color and I can't wait to play around with it. All right moving right along to Wet n Wild they did release a new primer and this is the Photo Focus Face Primer and this is the dewy one. 
This is what this one looks like right here. You guys know I'm really like getting into primers now and I love my dewy primers that can give a nice uh, luminous look to my skin. So this looks like really, really nice. And this one's actually infused with vitamin E, which is amazing. I love seeing these skincare um, products in your makeup. And they did release a matte one as well, but the matte one is actually their old photo focus primer just reformulated. So I didn't pick that one up since I already own it. Next, we have a new highlighter from Wet n Wild, and this is Golden Flower Crown. I do have uh, Precious Petals, which you guys know is like a cult favorite, um, but this is a brand new shade, and I'm really excited about it since it's a gorgeous gold shade, and I love Wet n Wild highlighters, so when I saw this shade, I knew I had to pick it up. More highlighters to talk about. They did re release these uh, Hello Halo Liquid Highlighters, and these are what these look like right here. I did pick up two shades. This one is Holographic, and this one is uh, Gilded Glow. Let's just swatch these because I'm super excited about them. Okay, so they have like a doe foot applicator. So this one right here is Holographic. That looks so pretty right there. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for that. And this one, let's just open it. This one right here is uh, Gilded glow and this is more of a gold shade they're super pigmented from what i can tell so far so this is a gold one it's a little dark it might be too dark for my skin tone but maybe i can mix it in with something but um these are look very exciting and when i saw them i couldn't wait because i love trying out new highlighters and um yeah, I love Wet n Wild new releases. I think they're doing an amazing job. So they did come out with six new shades of their gel lip liners. I've already tried these in the past. They did have six shades before and I did a whole video on them. So um, I'll probably do a new lip swatch video including these or something like that because these shades look really, really gorgeous. So I'm very excited about these. And then we also have a uh, Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil and I got mine in the shade Ash Brown. This is what this looks like right here. Um, this looks so good and I can't wait to try this out. I'm always on the hunt for a really good brow pencil. My favorite right now is the NYX Micro Brow, but if this can um, make my brows look good, then I'm very excited. Then we have the Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow palette and this is a brand new color icon palette and this is in the shade Rose in the Air. This is what this looks like right here. How much does this look like modern renaissance? Like I can't wait for this. i um, very excited. Next product is the Milani Rose Powder Blush and this is in the shade Romantic Rose. I already have one of these, but when I saw this shade, um, I had to pick it up. It's so gorgeous. Like it's such a nice warm color and I love blushes like this. So um, I think that'll look gorgeous on the skin. And then I just picked up another um, Wet n Wild color icon lipstick in the shade bear it all because i already had this um but i did run out of it surprisingly because i used it all the time so i did just pick up a new one so that is it for my haul guys i hope you all enjoyed um those are all some new products that i'm excited to try out if you guys want to see any reviews or anything like that on any of these products let me know down below in the comments um but anyways, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.